when we study about the central dogma we found that rna produces from dna with the help of an enzyme known as rna polymerase and by a process known as transcription and those rna further translated into proteins with the help of ribosomes but not all rnas can produce a particular protein so these rnas are known as non coding rnas hello friends welcome to biology concern i am animesh in this video i am going to discuss about non coding rnas that means those rnas are crucial for our cellular responses cellular activities but they are not producing any kind of protein so let's jump into the topic first thing the definition of the non coding rna so not a non coding rna or nc rna is a functional rna that is transcribed from dna but not translated into protein so main thing since the, they are not translated into proteins right if we observe the central dogma this is the central dogma guys yes? so if we observe the central dogma dna if dna is produces or makes a dna then the process is known as replication and from dna to rna it is transcription rna to protein translation and rna to dna is reverse transcription but in case of those non coding rnas dna can successfully translated into rna but those rna cannot produce a functional protein still those rna are important to act some special activity of our cells and those rnas are denoted as non coding rnas non coding rnas are classified into two major categories first one is short non coding rna and second one is long non coding rna okay so short non coding rna is further classified into several categories and examples of short non coding rnas are mirna that is the micro rna sirna that is the small interfering rna and also pirna that is pv interacting rna okay and the examples of long non coding rnas are one of them are gist okay x inactivation specific transcript so this is the long non coding rnas if we observe those particular central dogma structure here from dna first produces a mrna precursor that is the pre mrna in the nucleus okay here exons and introns are available but in the process of splicing that is the rna modification process we got our final mrna but in case here rna modification also takes place and rna modification can leads to those rna into several forms into several forms just like mirnas and those mirnas are actually produces from long non coding rnas so long non coding rnas acts as a precursor of mirna okay so this is the short non coding rna so they modified themselves and produces a non coding rna just for ex say for example non coding rnas example of non coding rnas are tRNA rRNA snRNA snoRNA hnRNA etc tRNA stands for transfer rna rRNA stands for ribosomal RNA that RNA are essential to produce a functional ribosome. snRNA means small nuclear RNA, snoRNA means small nuclear RNA, hnRNA that is the heteronucleic RNA and many more of the non-coding RNAs are discovered till date. So just classify the short non-coding RNAs to their function. So first thing we have got the micro RNAs that is the mirna so mirna the main function or major function of mirna is induce cleavage or degradation or block the translation okay so mirna acts by blocking its translation shortly we will observe the particular mechanism of action of short non coding rnas next one is hirna 
that is the short interfering RNA, short interfering RNA. The mechanism for short interfering RNA, it mediate post-transcriptional gene silencing, okay. So, the main function of SIRNA is post-transcriptional gene silencing along with induced the heterochromatin formation and chromatin condensation. Next thing is PIRNA, that is the PV interacting RNA, okay. That is the PV interacting RNA. So, chromatin regulation, the main function is chromatin regulation and also express transposons target and cleave the transposon in complex with the PV protein. So, when a PV RNA or PI RNA makes a complex with PV protein, they actually cleaves the specific transcript or transposons. Okay, let's jump into the mechanism of action of short non-coding RNAs and long non-coding RNAs. So, so, first thing is, this is the micro RNA. This is the gene for micro RNA. So, this is the gene for micro RNA. So, we have got a micro RNA. When a micro RNA binds with the specific mRNA target, so this is the mRNA target, and this black color dot as rib ribosomes, okay. So, these are the ribosome. When particular micro RNA binds with the mRNA, and it actually blocks the ribosomes to move further, or their movement, it actually blocks the movement of the ribosomes. So, this is the transcriptional repression. And next thing microRNA does, microRNA bind with the mRNA and it actually cleaves the particular portions and produces transposons, just like PV RNAs. Okay. So, this uh, cleavage is actually degraded the particular mRNA and those mRNA are not functional anymore. Next, Jump into the long non-coding RNAs. So, here is the long non-coding RNAs. So, long non-coding RNAs particularly perform in three different ways. First thing is they perform as a decoy. Second thing, they perform as a guide. And third thing, they perform as a dynamic scaffolding. So, what is a decoy? Decoy can bind to transcription factors and microRNA to prevent them from binding to their target thereby regulating the transcription and translation. So, in case of decoy, those particular long non-coding RNAs bind with the particular transcriptional factor or transcription of uh, micro RNAs and they actually produces a, a complex and then this complex particularly blocks the transcription and translation of that particular gene. Next thing, what is the guide? Guide performs as modifying the complex or transcriptional factors. Here also, it modifies the transcriptional factors and directs them to the specific gene or loci. So, he, in case here, you will observe this is the long non coding RNA, okay, and this is the chromatin com modification complex. So, this green color is chromatin modification complex, and this is the long non coding RNA. So, when long non coding RNA binds with chromatin modifying complex, they actually particularly blocks the particular transcription factors and specific gene or particular loci. Thereby, they stop the transcription and translation of that particular gene. And next one is the dynamic scaffolding. Dynamic, in case of dynamic scaffolding, one or two scaffold proteins are uh, present. And in case here, these long non coding RNAs. Here, in case of blue color, those non-coding RNAs actually bind with two particular different proteins and single non-coding RNA bind with two particular different proteins here marked in red and green. So, thereby, it actually acts as a central platform for multiple modifying complexes and or other cofactors to assemble trans, uh, transiently for function. That means particularly it actually um, scaffold between the two proteins and particularly thereby blocks the function of those complexes or modifying the function of particularly those complexes. Let's talk about the ZIST. So, X, ZIST stands for X inactivation specific transcript. So, in case of ZIST, it actually produced by a X chromosome. So, ZIST produced by 
X chromosome in female. Okay, so this is produced by X chromosome in case of female. Female have two X chromosome, right? So in case of this, those chromosomes that are produced this are actually inactivated, and those this actually wraps the chromosome itself and thereby blocking the activity of particular those X chromosomes, and thereby only one X chromosomes are available to activate and to perform a function. But other X chromosome where the gist is activated, those particular chromosome actually block their function. Thereby, they actually make a doses compensation in case of human. So I think this video is really helpful for you to understand uh, what is the short non-coding RNA, what is the long non-coding RNA, and what is the function of uh, those particular RNAs that is the regulation of gene expression in transcription and post translational uh, level and this is the overview and in my next video I will also discuss about the function of each of those particular non-coding RNAs like micro RNA, PV RNA or uh, silent uh, small interfering RNA, SI RNA. So this is the complete uh, overview guys. If you like that video, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.